one spoonful of apple cider vinegar does these 10 things for your body and health. Apple cider vinegar, often just called ACV, is more than just a kitchen ingredient. It's packed with health benefits that may touch almost every part of your body, from your gut to your skin, and even your hair. This simple, natural product is made by fermenting the sugar from apples into acetic acid, which is the star ingredient that gives apple vinegar its powerful properties. What's even more exciting is that it's easy to use. Whether you're sipping it in a morning tonic, dressing your salads with it, or using it as a skin toner, apple cider vinegar is versatile and effective. In today's video, we will explain the 10 benefits of one spoonful of apple cider vinegar for our body and health. However, there are some limitations as well. To find out in detail, watch till the end. Now, let's get started. 1. Weight Loss Aid One spoonful of apple cider vinegar may contribute to weight loss, primarily due to its main component, acetic acid. It has been shown to increase feelings of fullness. This happens because vinegar may slow the rate at which food leaves the stomach, leading to a slower absorption of nutrients and a prolonged sensation of fullness. This may naturally lead to a decrease in overall calories consumed throughout the day, as you may find yourself not feeling as hungry or needing to snack less between meals. Moreover, acetic acid may help boost metabolism, enhancing the rate at which the body burns calories. This increase in metabolic rate may lead to more calories burned throughout the day, contributing to weight loss over time. Although these changes might not be dramatic, they may significantly impact weight management when combined with a healthy diet and regular exercise. In a study, a reduction in snacking was observed for a period of 3 to 24 hours when apple cider vinegar was consumed. In this case, apple vinegar contained at least 25 millimoles of acetic acid per liter, 2. Stabilizes Acid Reflux Acid reflux often occurs not necessarily because there is too much acid in the stomach, but because the lower esophageal sphincter or LES, the valve that separates the stomach from the esophagus, doesn't function properly, allowing acid to escape up into the esophagus. One theory is that by introducing more acid into the stomach, apple vinegar may help to encourage the LES to tighten and improve its function, preventing acid from leaking into the esophagus. Another aspect to consider is that apple cider vinegar has an alkalizing effect, despite its initial acidity. After digestion, it tends to have an alkaline effect on the body. This may help to neutralize stomach acid to some extent and reduce the symptoms of acid reflux. Essentially, the body's response to the additional acid helps to balance pH levels within the stomach, potentially easing the symptoms of heartburn and indigestion. However, it's crucial to note that while some people may experience relief from acid reflux symptoms by using apple cider vinegar, others may find that it may worsen the condition. This is highly individual, depending on one's body chemistry and the severity of the reflux. Consuming apple cider vinegar, especially undiluted, may also lead to other side effects such as tooth enamel erosion or throat irritation. 3. Teeth Whitener the primary component of apple cider vinegar is acetic acid, which has the ability to break down plaque and other substances that lead to stains on teeth. This is why some people use it as a mouthwash, believing it may help remove stains and naturally whiten their teeth. When diluted and used occasionally, apple cider vinegar might help to slightly decrease the visibility of stains and give the teeth a cleaner appearance. According to studies, Apple vinegar may notably decrease the levels of damage to tooth hardness and surface structure. It may work better in compared to white vinegar. However, acetic acid, despite its potential to clear away stains, is also quite corrosive and may wear down the enamel on your teeth if used improperly. Enamel erosion leads to more serious dental issues, including increased sensitivity, cavities and decay, and once enamel is gone, it cannot be restored. If someone chooses to use apple cider vinegar as a teeth whitener, it must be diluted properly, typically a mixture of one part vinegar to two parts water, and it should not be used frequently. Swishing the diluted solution briefly and then thoroughly rinsing the mouth with water afterwards is crucial to minimizing the acid's contact with teeth. Following up with a neutralizing mouth rinse, like a mixture of baking soda and water, may help to balance the pH in the mouth 
further protecting the enamel. 4. Boosts Immune System Apple cider vinegar is often mentioned as a supportive aid for the immune system, primarily due to its antibacterial properties. This may be beneficial for the immune system, as it may help the body fight off pathogenic bacteria and prevent infections. Its antibacterial nature is why some people include it in their diet during cold and flu season or use it as a throat gargle to combat sore throats and kill harmful bacteria. Moreover, apple cider vinegar may influence the health of the gut microbiome, which is a critical part of the immune system. A healthy gut flora helps to protect the body against pathogens by competing with disease causing microbes for nutrients and attachment sites. However, the impact of apple vinegar on the gut microbiome is still not fully understood and more research is needed to establish a clear connection. A study on fish indicated that apple vinegar, when combined with Lactobacillus cassei, had immunomodulatory effects. It shows that apple vinegar may have immunostimulant properties. 5. Sore Throat Remedy Apple cider vinegar is commonly cited as a home remedy for sore throats due to its antibacterial properties. When someone has a sore throat, it may often be caused by bacteria or viruses. Acetic acid, the main component in apple cider vinegar, possesses antimicrobial properties, which may act against various bacteria. This is beneficial because, by potentially reducing the bacterial load in the throat, it may help alleviate the pain and speed up the healing process. According to studies, apple cider vinegar is effective against the bacteria E. coli, Staphylococcus aureus, and Candida albicans. To use it for a sore throat, it is typically diluted with water to reduce its acidity and make it safer to swallow. For example, mixing one tablespoon of apple vinegar with one cup of warm water and gargling with this solution may coat the throat, creating an environment that is hostile to bacteria. This method of delivery may directly engage the bacteria in the throat increasing the effectiveness of the treatment. 6. Blood Sugar Control When one spoonful of apple cider vinegar is consumed, especially before meals, it may help regulate blood sugar levels by reducing the rate at which food leaves the stomach and enters the lower digestive tract. This slower absorption rate prevents rapid spikes in blood sugar that typically occur after eating. By moderating the digestion rate, it helps to maintain a more steady increase in blood sugar, avoiding sharp peaks and trough, which may be particularly problematic for individuals with diabetes. Furthermore, the acetic acid in apple cider vinegar has been shown to improve insulin sensitivity. Insulin is the hormone responsible for transporting sugar from the bloodstream into the cells, where it's used for energy. Improved insulin sensitivity makes it easier for the body to move sugar out of the blood, reducing blood sugar levels effectively. In a trial involving 10 type 1 diabetes patients with diabetic gastroparesis, after consuming apple cider vinegar, the gastric emptying rate was decreased from 27% to 17%. Additionally, for those already on blood sugar lowering medications, it's crucial to consult with a healthcare professional before incorporating it into their routine, as it may enhance the effects of their medications, potentially leading to hypoglycemia, too low blood sugar. 7. Natural Skin Toner The primary way one spoonful of apple cider vinegar helps the skin is by restoring the natural acidity of the skin, often referred to as the acid mantle. This slightly acidic layer on the skin's surface acts as a barrier to bacteria, viruses, and other potential contaminants that might penetrate the skin and cause infections. Overuse of harsh cleansers and soaps may disturb this natural barrier, leaving the skin vulnerable to irritation and infections. To treat wounds as well as bacterial and fungal infections, vinegar is helpful because it offers antimicrobial and antioxidant properties. For those with oily and acne-prone skin, the acidic nature of apple cider vinegar may be particularly beneficial. Acetic acid has the ability to cut through oil on the skin, helping to cleanse and minimize pores, and reducing excessive oil production. This makes it a useful component in routines aimed at managing conditions like acne, where excess oil and bacteria lead to inflammation and breakouts. Despite these potential benefits, it's crucial to use apple cider vinegar correctly to avoid skin irritation. It should always be diluted with water before applying to the skin, typically, 
a ratio of one part vinegar to three parts water is recommended, though this may vary based on individual skin sensitivity. After mixing the diluted solution, it may be applied to the skin using a cotton ball or pad, but it should only be left on for a few minutes before being rinsed off to prevent any acid burn effects. 8. Hair Rinse for Shine Apple cider vinegar's main component, acetic acid, is effective at removing residue buildup on the hair and scalp. Hair products such as shampoos, conditioners and styling products often leave residues that may dull the hair's natural shine. One spoonful of apple cider vinegar works by gently stripping away this residue without stripping the hair of its natural oils, which are crucial for maintaining hair health. This cleaning action helps to enhance the natural gloss and shine of the hair, making it look healthier and more vibrant. In a study, researchers developed a special mixture containing garlic oil, apple cider vinegar, and minoxidil, a common hair growth medication to treat alopecia areata. Thus, it supports the effectiveness of apple cider vinegar in treating hair loss. To use apple cider vinegar as a hair rinse, it's important to dilute it properly to avoid any potential irritation. A typical mixture might include one spoonful of apple cider vinegar diluted in about a cup of water. After shampooing, the diluted apple cider vinegar may be poured over the hair and massaged into the scalp, then left for a couple of minutes before rinsing out thoroughly. This rinse may be used once or twice a week as part of a regular hair care routine. 9. Enhances bone health One spoonful of apple cider vinegar might impact bone health. The acetic acid in apple cider vinegar may increase the body's ability to absorb essential nutrients from the diet. This is particularly important for calcium, a key building block for bone tissue. By enhancing calcium absorption, ACV could potentially support bone density and overall bone health. Additionally, maintaining a balanced pH level in the body is crucial for bone health. There is some discussion in nutritional circles about the role of dietary acids and bases in bone density. The body strives to maintain a slightly alkaline pH level. When the diet is too acidic, the body may leach calcium from the bones to neutralize the excess acid, potentially weakening the bones over time. Although apple cider vinegar is acidic, it is believed to have an alkalizing effect once metabolized. Thus, it's theorized that it might help balance the body's pH and reduce calcium depletion in bones. 10. Improve heart health. One significant benefit of one spoonful of apple cider vinegar for heart health is its potential to improve cholesterol levels. Acetic acid may help reduce levels of triglycerides and low-density lipoprotein, or LDL cholesterol, often referred to as bad cholesterol, while potentially increasing high-density lipoprotein, or HDL cholesterol, or good cholesterol. LDL cholesterol contributes to the buildup of plaque in the arteries, which may lead to atherosclerosis, a major risk factor for heart attack and stroke. By modifying cholesterol levels, ACV may help reduce some of these risks. Apple cider vinegar might also aid in lowering blood pressure, another critical risk factor for heart disease. High blood pressure puts additional strain on the heart and arteries, leading to further cardiovascular complications. The mechanism by which vinegar could reduce blood pressure is not entirely understood, but it is thought that acetic acid may help to regulate blood pressure and improve vasodilation, allowing blood to flow more freely. Furthermore, there is some evidence that apple cider vinegar may help reduce inflammation, a key factor in cardiovascular disease. Chronic inflammation is closely linked to many aspects of heart disease, including plaque buildup and arterial damage. The polyphenolic compounds in apple cider vinegar, which come from the apples it is made from, possess antioxidant properties that may help lower inflammation throughout the body, including in the cardiovascular system. Now let's discuss who should not consume apple cider vinegar. While apple cider vinegar is popular for its health benefits, it's not suitable for everyone. Certain individuals should avoid it or use it cautiously due to potential health risks or interactions with medications. 1. People with digestive issues Individuals suffering from conditions like gastritis or peptic ulcers may find that the acidity of ACV aggravates their symptoms. The acetic acid in vinegar may irritate the stomach lining, leading to increased pain and discomfort. 2. People with kidney disease 
For those with kidney disease, the high acidity of apple cider vinegar could pose a problem. The kidneys struggle to remove excess acids from the blood and consuming high acid foods like vinegar may further stress these organs. 3. People taking certain medications. Those on diuretics or insulin should be cautious. ACV may interact with these medications, influencing potassium levels and blood sugar control. Similarly, it may interact with laxatives, diuretics, and drugs for heart disease and diabetes. 4. People with osteoporosis. Consuming large amounts of apple cider vinegar might reduce bone density, making bones more fragile. This is due to the vinegar potentially lowering potassium levels, which is crucial for bone health. 5. Pregnant and breastfeeding women. While moderate consumption of ACV is generally considered safe, the lack of research on the effects of higher or medicinal amounts of vinegar during pregnancy or breastfeeding makes it advisable to use it cautiously. Each of these benefits is supported by the natural components found in apple cider vinegar, making it a versatile addition to a healthy lifestyle. However, it's important to note that ACV should be consumed in moderation, as excessive consumption may lead to negative side effects, including tooth enamel erosion and potential interactions with medications. Always consult with a healthcare provider before starting any new dietary regimen. In today's video, we learn about all the amazing benefits of one spoonful of apple cider vinegar for our body and health. Our daily diets play a crucial role in maintaining our health. If you are looking for more food-related videos, here are a few more to check out. Watch Eat These 10 Foods to Save Your Pancreas from Damage. Or try 11 Powerful Reasons Why You Must Eat Blueberries Every Day. Go ahead, watch one, or even better, both. Will you incorporate apple cider vinegar into your life from now on? Tell us in the comments section below.